Thank you very much. So, I studied in IIT Mumbai, and when I was in my third year, I had a friend of mine who tried to commit suicide. And I was quite bewildered because he was doing pretty well in his studies. When we asked, why you tried to commit suicide, his response was even more surprising. And he said that in every exam, I used to get the gold medal. In this exam, I got the silver medal and I couldn't handle it. So it was pretty strange because in the same paper, four or five of my other friends had failed in three or four subjects. And they were moving around the campus peacefully, blissfully, as if nothing happened, blessing others. So we were really shocked and asked them, Are this guy got a silver medal, he's trying to kill himself. You guys have failed in three or four subjects and you are moving around peacefully. Sharam nahi aati kya? And these guys who failed in these three or four subjects looked at me and said, Our philosophy in life is very simple. College mein ghusna apna kaam hai, nikalna college ka kaam hai. So, we realized that everyone has a different response to change. And as marketing professionals and as spiritual leaders, both of us are dealing with something common. We are dealing and coping with change. For businesses to remain relevant, they need to be able to change and transform and you become the enablers and medium to help them deal and cope with that change so they are able to express and establish their relevance. Similarly, when the world changes so much that people are unable to cope with that change, they slide into depression, distress and anxiety. And therefore, spiritualists and spiritual philosophy come forward to help people cope with that change. And therefore, India today has 70,000 hospitals and almost 2 million temples. And the fact remains that from the perspective of branding, spirituality is a field which is evergreen. If you look at numbers of the Kumbh Mela, on any Snan day, you get 4 to 5 crore people without any advertisement. In various events across the year, people throng because they see the relevance that for things which are constantly changing around us, we need something which does not change. And therefore, dear friends, one of the most important principles to understand in life is that as things change, as things change around us, it is extremely important for we as individuals to embrace things which do not change, to remain grounded, to remain sane, to remain rooted, to remain free from anxiety and stress because today, as we speak every single day, 370 suicides are happening in India every day. 300 million people across the world are dealing with stress, anxiety and depression symptoms. So yes, as we are living in a world which is changing rapidly, we need each and every individual to understand what India brings to the table. The soft power of India is all the more required than ever before and I appeal to all the marketing and branding agencies to recognize this, apply it in their own lives and also help share this with the rest of the world because the technology which comes from California like Google and Facebook and Apple or whatever, all of that is used across the world because it is relevant, it helps people. Similarly, the wisdom coming from the land of India, the culture which is rooted and centered around this wisdom 
which helps people stay grounded, which helps families stay connected, it's disappearing fast. And it's very important that we help people reconnect to that, to remain sane, to remain rooted, to remain dignified in their activities. I was giving a lecture at a college campus in America. A young boy came up to me and started speaking to me in Hindi. I looked at him and said, you look American, how are you speaking Hindi? Are you American or Indian? He looked at me and said, I'm American, I'm from California, my father is a multi-millionaire. I got everything in life. When I was 17 years old, I told him, Dad, you gave me big car, big house, big mansion, swimming pool, everything. Except one thing, the experience of a family. Because when I was two years old, you were divorced. And I grew up in an empty house. Now when I'm 17 years old, I yearn to experience what is family. And it's a fact that today, Luxembourg as a country has a divorce rate of 88%. Spain has a divorce rate of 65%. France has a divorce rate of 55%. Russia, 51%. America has a divorce rate of 46%. The global divorce rate is 44%. And India still has the lowest divorce rate at 1%. And so his father told him, if you want to experience what is family, go to India. He took a flight, came to India, went to Varanasi, approached a family and said, I just want to stay with your family as a paying guest for two years just to experience what it means to have loving relationships with family members. If you just allow me to stay with you for two years and experience what is family, I will pay you a monthly rent of one lakh rupees every month for two years. That family said, why two years? Stay whole life. And they said, if you have other friends also <laughs> who want to experience what is family, we would like to invite them. So many times we take certain things for granted and as all of you are churning and discussing and figuring out how to make brands visible, how to make brands relevant, how to make brands saleable, do not forget the fact that we, as a country, are extremely powerful and famous for something which has always been part of our core DNA, our values, our tradition, our philosophy, which may not be measured in terms of GDP, but Goldman Sachs came with a report that between 2015 to 2025, the infrastructure investment required for India would be $1.3 trillion. Out of that, $800 billion would come from family savings. And unless the family as an institution stays intact, where is the question of any of this? So therefore, I stand here as a representative of one who has been connected with the spiritual philosophy for almost 30 years. Srila Prabhupada, the founder of ISKCON, when he landed in London, he was asked, why are you here? And Prabhupada ji said, well, the British have looted India of gold, emeralds, rubies, jewels for last 300 years, but they forgot to loot the most important jewel of India, the Bhagavad Gita, I have come to do home delivery here. And since then till today, we have distributed more than 550 million copies of the Bhagavad Gita. And therefore I say that if Bhagavad Gita is a 5,000 year old book and we can sell 550 million copies with no organized marketing campaign, it means that when the customer understands the relevance of something, he will pick it up no matter what. Therefore, dear friends, as marketing professionals, you are at the cutting edge of change. Change is the only and major cause of fear, stress and anxiety. We as spiritual organizations and temples help co people cope with the pain caused by change. You are the people who are helping brands create the changes required to sell their products so you will experience the greatest stress and anxiety. 
So I think there is a lot we can do in learning from each other and helping this country become the Vishwa Guru as our Honorable Prime Minister has been envisaging in India's year of presidency in G20. Thank you for inviting me.